Hello. My name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video is part of the second generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers. This second generation includes an initial model for news analysis. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are provided, stated, or marketed in this opinionated video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy. Capitalist brothers and sisters. Let's get started. TEO went public on December 9, 1994 which was roughly 29 years and 2 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Friday February 23, 2024 to Tuesday May 17, 2022. We found 445 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for TEO after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Before we jump into price and volume analysis, let's look at recent headlines for TEO. What were recent headline news for TEO? Today, Monday, February 26, 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was a combination of the exchange and the ticker symbol, NYSE. TEO, the results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 9 unique dates. Publication dates spanned 4,025 days. The latest publication was, Monday, February 19, 2024 when Defense World published the headline that read, Junk Financial LLC has $66,000 stockholdings in Telecom Argentina SA. The oldest publication was on Monday, February 11, 2013, when 11 years 15 days ago, Ben America's English published the headline that read, Telecom Argentina's Bertoni to move up to Tim Brazil Management. Monday, November 27, 2023 had the most headlines. It had two discovered headlines when Investing.com UK published the headline that read, Argentina's new president Javier Maile sets bold economic agenda. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, bye. Markets Insider published the headline that read, Why Anavex Life Sciences shares are trading lower by around 10%? Here are other stocks moving in Monday's mid. Investing.com UK published the headline that read, A tour in location and control posts Q3 results, joins Crown Castle, Shopify and other big stocks moving higher on. Monday, November 20, 2023 was the day with the highest percentage change in price when we compare opening versus closing price for the ticker. The day saw a jump of 5.66% when in TEO opened trading at 6.18 and closed at $6.53. There was one found headline when Investing.com UK published the headline that read, Microsoft, Neo and other big stocks moving higher in Monday's pre-market session by Benzinga. Monday, December 21, 2020 was the day with the highest percentage change in price when we compare opening versus closing price for the ticker. The day saw a drop of minus 6.20% when NTEO opened trading at 7.74 and closed at $7.26. There was one found headline when Yahoo Finance published the headline that read, Is NCRA good stock to buy according to hedge funds? Hello, my name is Sam, what was end of day price and volume for TEO? On Friday February 23, 2024, TEO had an end of day price of $7.83 and volume of about 252.4 thousand. Compared to the previous trading day, the price dropped 1.38%, losing 11 cents, while volume jumped 74.23%, increasing about 107.5 thousand. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of 96 cents, the max and minimum end of day price were respectively 7.94 and 6.98.
volume saw a range of 310.5 thousand, from a day low of 29.5 thousand to a day high of 340 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did February 23, 2024 rank for TEO? By 650 calendar day look back to May 17, 2022, across 445 trading days, of which February 23, 2024 price ranked 20 while its volume ranked 41. Each of the 445 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 445 being the lowest ranked day. The line graph overlays price and volumes daily ranking, as shown respectively in light versus dark blue, across those target days trading days. In this view, essentially the dips are good whereas the spikes are bad. The prices day over day percentage change, dropping minus 1.38% on February 23, 2024, had a day rank of 298 while its dollar difference of minus 11 cents had a rank of 335 when compared day over day across 444 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 90 and 35. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did February 23, 2024 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 445 trading days, the maximum end-of-day price for TEO was $8.64 while the minimum was $3.82. Within that price range, February 23, 2024 price, of $7.83, landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end-of-day prices. The day's volume landed within the fourth quartile, marking it within the top 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 1.1 million and a minimum of 5.8 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, TEO has a median price of $5.23. Therefore, February 23, 2024 price was higher from that middle marker by 49.71%. The day's volume of 252.4 thousand was more than the median by 150.55%. Hello, my name is John. What were end-of-month percentage change averages in price and volume for TEO? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 22-month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 05, 2022 to 01, 2024, 12 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 55% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 22 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 2.63% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.89%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 155.37% and 6.74%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for TEO? Across 445 trading days, there were a total of 22 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $7.87 for 12 2023 while the minimum was $4.08 for 10 2022. Looking at volume, 11 2023 and 05, 2023 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 246.7 thousand and 58.6 thousand. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, 
Remember to like and subscribe to Ticker DD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has TEO price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short term versus a long term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short term moving average crosses above its long term average. Vice versa, a death cross is a bearish signal when the short term crosses below its long term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA, and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black, if no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end of day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 5 to 10. We found death cross signal for the 30 to 50. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 10 to 20, the 50 to 200. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here is what I found. Telecom Argentina SA, together with its subsidiaries, provides telecommunication services in Argentina and internationally. The company offers telephone services, including local, domestic, and international long-distance telephone services, as well as public telephone services, and other related supplementary services such as call waiting, call forwarding, conference calls, caller ID, voicemail, itemized billing, and maintenance services. It also provides interconnection services, such as traffic and interconnection resource, dedicated internet access, video signals transportation in standard and high definitions, audio and video streaming, dedicated links, backhaul links for mobile operators, data center hosting, housing services, dedicated links, layer 2 and layer 3 transport networks, video links, value-added services, and other services. In addition, the company offers mobile telecommunication services, including voice communications, high-speed mobile internet content and applications download, online streaming, and other services, and sells mobile communication devices, such as handsets, modems MiFi and Wingles, and smart watches under the personal brand. Further, it provides internet connectivity products, including virtual private network services, traditional internet protocol links, and other products, data services, and programming and other cable television services. The company was formerly known as Cablevision SA and changed its name to Telecom Argentina SA in January 2018. Telecom Argentina SA was founded in 1979 and is based in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Hello, my name is Dan. Let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15 and April 15, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy whose friends called him Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, 
conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models. We are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime, as is, data that are publicly available. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the Due Diligence part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are. Because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the Ticker DD army by going to tickerdd.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways. For example, like and subscribe. Also, put this video on Reddit or StockTwits along with your own DD. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer. This video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from TickerDD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. TickerDD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotics stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly.
Importantly, ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.